Mental illnesses are medical conditions that disrupt a person's thinking, feeling, mood, ability to relate to others, and daily functioning. This may include major depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, personality disorders, and anxiety. Mental illnesses are successfully treated with psychotherapy, medication and recovery-focused services. Stigma and negative perception creates challenges for people getting the care they need. Intellectual disabilities are quite different from mental illnesses and are characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and everyday social and practical skills. Intellectual disabilities originate before the age of 18 and are incurable. Early on, society did not know how to treat people who were different. Individuals deemed crazy and mentally insane were transported by train to state hospitals, also referred to as insane asylums. Some, locked up for life, endured many years of shackles, shock treatments, and other abuse. Waves of reform began to initiate more effective treatments, improve conditions, and promote healing for those suffering from mental illness. Dedicated to dignity and respect for everyone, Philhaven opened its doors in 1952. As research developed, psychiatry recognized and defined the differences between mental illness and intellectual disabilities. Parents seeking services for their children's mental retardation formed organizations like the Ark of Lancaster County. Then, on October 31, 1963, President John F. Kennedy delivered the monumental moment in mental health history. He signed the bill for construction of mental retardation and community mental health facilities. I'm delighted to approve this bill. It will make possible a major attack on the problems of mental retardation and mental health. This bill will expand our knowledge, provide research facilities to determine the cause of retardation, establish university-related diagnostic treatment clinics, and permit the construction of community centers for the care of the retarded. The mentally ill and the mentally retarded need no longer be alien to our affections or beyond the help of our communities. In that same year, Mental Health America opened its doors in Lancaster County to advocate for those who had no voice and lead individuals to mentally healthy lives. Communities began planning for the government funding. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania opened the Office of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. In Lancaster County, the Office of Mental Health and Mental Retardation was established to serve all people. Today, the name is appropriately changed to Lancaster County Behavioral Health and Developmental Services. Each county received allotments of money to care for the health and well-being of each individual in their community. Community Services Group, Accenture, and Keystone Human Services Group offered treatment services for the rising demand of individuals with intellectual disabilities. Lancaster General Hospital offered the first mental health unit in the county during this period as well. Soon families realized they had a voice to advocate for their loved ones. The National Alliance for Mental Illness, or NAMI, formed in 1983, and families had the opportunity to meet, share stories, and provide support for one another. As momentum continued to build, many new organizations formed to serve and support those with mental illness and intellectual disabilities. The Community Support Program is a coalition of mental health consumers, family members, professionals, all dedicated to assisting adults live successfully in our community. The Involved Consumer Action Network, or ICAN, began as consumers realized they had their own voice and desired to educate themselves and provide peer feedback. In partnership with local county mental health agencies, the state launched Community Hospital Projects Program in 1991. This initiative transitions individuals with extended stays in Pennsylvania State Hospitals to less restrictive community-based programs. More than 2,500 state hospital beds have been closed and people are receiving treatment in their home communities. Health Choices was formed in 1997 and was implemented in Lancaster County five years later as one of the largest Medicaid programs to ensure access to treatment. Health Choices fundamentally transformed mental health care in an effort to move toward a recovery-oriented system. The recovery movement has drastically changed the approach to mental, behavioral, intellectual, and developmental disabilities. Individuals are empowered on their own path to recovery. 
The slogan, Nothing About Us Without Us, truly encompasses the rebalancing of power between the professional and the consumer. The person-centered approach now permeates policymaking, governance, training, and evaluation. Today, we're grateful for the many professionals who have spent countless hours learning, listening, and providing hope to those who have felt hopeless. We applaud the many nonprofit organizations who strive for better treatment and stand for advocacy and education. Each step offers a glimpse of bright hope. But most of all, we honor the heroes who have done the hard work, the consumers themselves. These individuals have broken the shackles, learned about their illness, and taken control of their lives. Today, we celebrate you.